Here he is, back from Norway, just in time to get two goals and three helpers. Nick Pereira of the San Diego Soccer's Spaniard. Julie V and I were talking about it on our broadcast over and over. It seems like not that you weren't a confident player before, you've always had that confidence, but the way you played tonight, it seemed like that trip to Europe just reinvigorated you. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like, I think it's a, it's a team thing, you know. Um, obviously, the way that they, <laughs> the way that I, when I came back, the pressure, I mean, the help that they've given, given me, the confidence that Phil had, because to be honest with you, I played like terrible the whole week in practice. Um, the confidence, you know, it helps me. And then obviously the early goal, and it just changes, you know. You start yeah. to feel better. You got that early goal from Miguel Adorado, and then a beautiful feed to Diego Rivera, and, and we started to see that craftiness and that possession that you, you always like to show off. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's fun. It's fun for me. Uh, when you have players that like to play you the ball and like to get it back, it's always fun to try and create and invent, and uh, these guys can do it too. It just so happened that tonight I, I had more of the ball than I usually do. And, and that creativity seemed to flow throughout the roster. Overall tonight, your guys' passing was so much on point. I'd say it was your best of 16 games. Absolutely. I would say that um, every game I've watched so far, the, uh, the level, uh, the quality of passing that we had today, the, the unselfish plays. I mean, there was a goal there with me to Medina to Diego back. I mean, it, it just looked, I mean, it was, uh, it was one of those days where everything was, was crisp. It just looked nice. You know, the ball was flowing. People were looking for each other. You can't ask for more. How about that nutbag on number nine? Uh, Susie was over there pumping me up because he thought that the guy was too pretty, so I had to go out there and do something. <laughs> and a, a word about your roommate, Chris Toth, getting the chance to play what, on the night his father is honored. He allows his season low three goals for himself and, and a real a confidence booster in case something happens with Riley in the playoffs. Absolutely. Chris is, uh, Chris is an invaluable member of this team. He's class in goal. Every time he goes in, we don't, we don't skip a beat. You know, it's not, I mean, Riley, Riley's a fantastic goalie. But uh, when Chris goes in, no one, you know, puts their head down. It's like, okay, we got to help him out. You know, we know that he's class. So, and it's fantastic for him that his dad was here and, and doing the whole, the whole number retiring thing. So I think it's he had a good time and we had a good time helping him. All right, tell the soccer fans about your trip to Norway. What do you expect in the summer? We're very happy to have you here for the playoffs, by the way. But but what are you seeing coming up here in the summer? Um, you know, I'm just trying to, to see what happens, and uh, I'm supposed to hear back on Monday. So um, we'll see what happens. Either way, I'm going to try and see if I can convince them to stay for the playoffs in Cincinnati and just kind of push back preseason for a little bit and try and help these guys win the championship they deserve. And um, we just got to wait. It's just a waiting game right now. Uh, this young man has been waiting for his chance to play, and he got it tonight. Two goals, three assists. Great job, Nick. Thanks very much, Craig. Chris Toth down on the field after a 13-3 victory. Uh, Chris setting his season low for goals allowed in three. And... Chris, I just have to ask you what a special night for your family to see your dad's number one go up into the rafters and for you to have the opportunity to play in goal in the same game. Yeah, that was an honor for me, you know. Um, I knew I had to play hard out here tonight. Uh, you know, I only gave up three goals and, you know, I feel good about it. So I was one for my dad. You know, I was watching you and your dad at practice on Thursday morning working on one thing in particular, and that was taking the ball and getting that quick outlet to midfield, to spring players, and I thought you did that tonight better than you've done all year. Yeah, you know, we, we were at practice about an hour after just working on getting the ball out quick, running up to the top of the box, and that actually helped me out a lot tonight. It relieved the pressure a lot from the back, so, uh, you know, I thank him a lot for that. How about your road roommate and your fusion teammate, Nick Pereira? Two goals, three assists. How much fun was he having oh, out man, there? man, he was tearing it up. That guy, he got that nice little mag on him. I think number nine, their best player, and he wasn't feeling that. But I mean, Nick, Nick got him dirty, so he had a great game. Overall, Chris, for the team, 14 and two. You actually better your record from last season by one game, 13 and three last year. How do you feel about the momentum of the team heading into the North American Championships? We're rolling. We're rolling right now. The D's looking good. We're playing solid up top. Everyone's scoring. Everyone's having fun. So you know, we're a force to be reckoned with right now. Great job, Chris. Head coach Phil Salvaggio down on the field. Soccers conclude their regular season with a 14-2 mark, one game better than last year's regular season total. You hammered the drillers tonight, 13-3. I was talking with Julie V on the game broadcast, Phil. Neither of us will envy you your roster decisions because your rookies came up and played a whale of a game today. Oh, yeah. Now everybody's getting healthy. Uh, I had to rest a couple guys today, but it looks like we might only be down one player of the whole roster for playoffs.
which is going to mean you're going to have a tough time figuring out your top 13. Another kid, Eric Wonderly, who has really come on in the second half of the season with an opportunity to play multiple games in a row, a hat trick and an assist tonight. Overall, would you agree that your passing was as crisp as it's been all year? Yeah, I, I feel like we peaked today. I mean, it's a good time to be peaking. We're playing really well. Uh, Wonderly, I think that's the best game of his career. Talk about the way Chris Toth played in goal on the night that his dad, Zoltan Toth, was honored. Yes. Uh, well, you know what? Chris has played very well all the games he's played. I think it's his fourth game this year. Uh, but today he's played exceptionally well uh, with his feet distribution and his uh, throwing. And that's why he only gave up three goals. And I, I mentioned it to him and on the broadcast as well. We saw Zoli working with Chris at the Thursday morning practice on that exact outlet that he was able to use to spring Adorado in the uh, first quarter. Oh, yeah. And he, he spent about two hours after practice on Thursday. And he, every day this week we've had practice. He spent time afterwards working on those, on those items. Talk a little bit now. You mentioned about the health of the squad. So many veterans. You had the opportunity to rest some legs today. Your captain, Aaron Susie, should be fresh for the playoffs now. Riley Swift gets the chance to rest that concussion for a week. Overall, you mentioned that you feel the team is peaking. What are your thoughts as we get ready now for two weeks and a trip to Cincinnati? Uh, everybody's going to be healthy. Hopefully, uh, I'm more worried about Mexico. You know, they're going to be really strong, and we're probably going to play them in the semis. Uh, uh, they're gonna, it's going to be a great game. Anything can happen in indoor. And overall, how proud are you of your team to be able to come out and, and be the team's, the best team in the league again, 14-2, lead the league in goals, number one seed, mission accomplished for the regular season? Yeah, I mean, you can't. We, we even be better than last year, and I, I, even our team this year is much better than last year. And you still got to add Farber onto our team and our roster going to Cincinnati. We don't even have him here. Phil Salvaggio, got to be a proud head coach and owner. Great job tonight. Thank you.